Hi there, my name is Ronnie. I'm here to teach you English. Not French, not Spanish, English today. Good. And today I'm going to talk about a common mistake um, that a lot of people use with um, making plans to meet friends or family or making appointments for business deals. There are three words that a lot of people get really mixed up. I'll teach you what they are. The first one is a reservation. Okay? The verb is re to reserve. When we reserve something, it's usually a seat. For example, if I'm going on an airplane, I need to reserve a seat. If I go to the theater, I'm going to reserve a seat. I need some place to sit. So, we reserve specific things. Think of all the places where you would need to reserve a place to sit down. Okay? So, I can make a reservation for an airplane. One of the most common places where we use a reservation would be at a restaurant. At a restaurant, you're going to call and you're going to reserve a table. If you're going on a trip, you need to reserve a seat. The verb we use with this is make. So you can call the restaurant and say, I'd like to make a reservation. Okay? So when we make a reservation, it's usually for a seat or a place. Um, we can also do this, as I said, in the theater. You would reserve a seat. In Canada, when we go to the movies, it's not necessary to reserve a place to sit. It's as we call first come, first serve basis. You get there first, you get the best seat. Okay? So, um, the other thing that we can plan to do is have an appointment. Now, an appointment is usually um, with a doctor or a dentist, or it can be to arrange a business, for example, a meeting. When we make an appointment, it's very important that we get the correct time and the correct date. So, we make I would call my doctor and I'd say, hello, I need to make an appointment to see the doctor. If I have a toothache, I need to see a, we don't say tooth doctor, we should, we say dentist. We can also make an appointment to see um, business people. For example, during tax time, you might make an appointment to see an accountant. Now, we only use appointments for business um, meetings. If you're going to make plans to see your friends, we never say, appointments, nor do we say a reservation. When we want to hang out with our friends, we make plans. When we want to hang out with our friends, we never say play, okay? In English, only children play with each other and other people. We won't go into that. So, you don't actually play with your
best friend. You actually hang out. This is a very uh, modern word. If you're an older person, for example, like my mother, she would say visit. She would say, I went to visit my best friend. I would say, I hung out with my best friend. That is the past. So I can say yesterday. I hung out. Okay. Or if you'd like to use a more formal language, you can say visit or in the past visit it. So the next time you want to call your friend and go to the movies, you're going to have to reserve a seat if it's the theater, not the movies. If you are sick, you're going to have to make an appointment with your doctor. And if you just want to hang out with your friend, you're going to make plans. All right?